Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to create a dynamic slider and animate it in Adobe XD. For practicing alongside me in this tutorial, you can download the project file from the link in the description. Open Adobe XD. With the artboard tool selected, create a new artboard with iPhone 6 dimensions and name it 1. Apply a fill color from the assets panel and insert the top navigation bar as well as the overview status into the screen. Click on the artboard name and turn on the grid. Select the ellipse tool and draw a circle of 200 pixel diameter and center it in the artboard. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle with a height of 15 pixels. Now you can turn off the grid. Make the corners of the rectangle round by clicking and dragging on the inner anchor points. Turn the opacity down to 50%. Now copy the shape and paste it by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V respectively. Resize it and duplicate it again. Make it into a group by pressing Ctrl G. Change the fill color to blue and change the opacity back to 100. Select the bottom rectangle and apply object blur with a value of 5. This will give a beautiful neon glow effect. With the ellipse tool, draw a circle of 20 pixel width to complete the slider and add a stroke of 5 pixels. Now bring the bigger circle to the front and duplicate it. Remove the fill and give it a blue stroke. Duplicate that layer and apply object blur with the maximum amount. Place that layer behind the bigger circle. Apply the gradient from the Assets panel. Add three layers of text using the text tool inside the circle and add a title for the slider. Now open Notepad and enter numbers from 0 to 9 on each line. Copy those 10 numbers and make 6 copies of them, since we are making the slider to move from 0 to 60. Apply the character style and align the text. Copy that and paste the numbers and paste it in the position of the second digit. Copy only the first set of number and paste it in the position of the first digit. This is to ensure the ones digit moves 10 times as a tens digit moves once. Draw a rectangle on top of the number name, covering them completely. Now select these three layers and right-click on the rectangle and choose Mask with Shape.
Now the rectangle act as a mask for the number layer behind it. Duplicate the artboard by clicking and dragging on the name of the artboard while holding the Alt key on the keyboard and rename it to 2. Now we can make the changes to the slider and number counter. Double click on the mask to open the group and move individual elements. Move the text layer in the tens digit so that the number 6 will be visible. For the second digit, move the layer all the way down to the last zero. This will enable us to transition from zero in the first screen to 60 in the second screen. Now change the length of the slider. Resize the rectangle and move to circle to the extreme left. Move and resize them to the extreme right in the second screen. We have completed the design. Head into the prototype section. Select the slider circle and click and drag the wire to the second artboard. Set the trigger to drag, action to auto animate, destination to 2, and easing to ease and out. Now connect the slider circle from the second artboard back to the first. This time Adobe XD remembers your choice. Click on the desktop preview button to open the preview. Click and drag on the slider circle to preview the dynamic slider animation we just created in Adobe XD with just two artboards. The important thing to take here is that the layers on two artboards must be named the same for the auto animate feature to work. If you like this video and wish to see more like this, like and subscribe to my channel.